everybody, it's Nikki and I'm here to do a quick video that is personal experience, not to be used as medical advice, um, just a quick demo. Um, I learned today how to take my case off of my T-Slim. It's been six months that I've been wearing this thing and today is the first day that I've taken the, the case off um, and it was really easy. So I'm here to share for other people because I know other people can't get their, their case off either. Um, so I'm here to, to demonstrate. Um, so here is the front of the pump. Here is the back of the pump. This is the case. This is not part of the pump in case you were confused too. Um, but this little piece inside this kind of window is the pump and it's the it's a great place to push with your thumb while you pull back on that corner to pump it out. <laughs> Six months. That's, uh, that's how long it took me to figure that out. Okay, anyway, so um, there we go. And this time it worked too. So when I pulled it out of the case, um, the cartridge came loose. That's okay. I can just put it back in. Um, I have tried this a couple times today and let's say six times I've done it today. Five out of six times the cartridge has popped out. Um, one time it did not. So one time I, I disconnected from my stomach rather than, rather than from here because I think, and this could just have been a fluke, but I think if you disconnect from here, I think this is full of insulin. So you might lose some insulin that way. Um, whereas if you just connect at your site, um, you know, there's no problem with it. So five out of six times the cannula did pop out. So I'll just, I'll just put it back in. And the other time I made sure to disconnect from my site. Um, when the case comes off that button right there, don't look at that number. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go do something about that right now. But, um, this button right here becomes really easy to push. Um, my friends at FUD recommended, because I was complaining about how this one can kind of be difficult to push, um, especially when I'm chasing kids and, and engaged in other stuff. Um, so my friends at FUD recommended just removing, you know, I guess cutting that piece out, which would make a lot of sense. And if I were not getting this pump through their upgrade program, um, like if it were mine, I would do it. But um, I'll call them first and make sure that they're okay with it and then maybe try it. Um, with the case not on, that's very easy to do. And what else? This is supposed to slide into jean pockets, which is really cool because I basically haven't worn jeans. <laughs> right here, talking about me. I mean, 14 years, um, and I went and got myself some, uh, you know, waist bands and arm bands and thigh bands and everything else. And I'm looking forward to sliding this in with ease now because I was putting it in. <laughs> but it wasn't easy. Anyway, okay, so that's it. That's uh, everything. I hope you guys have a great day. And I do want to get back, I will say really quick, um, I do want to get back to logging. Somebody asked me the other day about, you know, moving over to, or asked my group the other day about moving over to T-Slim and, um, and whether or not people liked it and everything else. And I realized that I don't log anything anymore. And I was logging everything with the 670. Um, However, with the Control IQ coming out towards the end of this year, I would really like to see what Basil IQ is doing because I know I love it, um, but I haven't logged the way I did with the 670. And I am really curious what kind of numbers, if I did log, you know, would I still be as happy? Um, my guess is yes, because I love the pump, but I, but I think that it would be interesting to log and see over the course of a couple of days um, you know exactly how much of time how much of my time I'm in how much of how often I am in range <laughs> my brain just drew a blank um, if my time in range is good if I just leave basal IQ alone and I think it's gonna be great um, but I'd like to log it so I'm gonna go ahead and take out my logs that's my point and put on some jeans thank you very much I hope you guys have a great day bye